aqui para mim? Ó, oh, vai, vai aceitando. Ai, ah, eu tirei da tela, da ordem. Vai aceitando para mim? Oh, pode ir aceitando aqui para mim? Ó, oh, vai, vai aceitando. Ai, ah, eu tirei da tela. Hi there. Can you listen to me? Hi there. Is that okay? Oh, vocês vão. Vai permitindo para mim, Carol? Ixi, permitir todos. Karina, good morning. A Karina está Hello. Bom dia, Hi, Karina. Hello. Onde está o som? Está em qual? O meu está ligado. Deixa ligado. Hi, Karina, good morning. Hello. Ai, a gente está aqui, a gente está numa... Ah, uh, hi, hi, student, hi, perfumes from Wales. I would like to know about Lisa. Do you know? Can you listen to me? Can you listen to me? Lisa! Can you listen to me? Hi, Lisa! Good morning! Hi! My students would like to talk something to you. Can you listen to me? Okay. 
That's okay. And then wait a moment, please. Let's go one, two, three. And uh, I think the Welsh students would like to say bon dia. After three, after three whales. One, two, three. Bon dia. Bon dia. We're just, we're just waiting for uh, a couple more to join us. They are logging into the uh, Chromebooks. Um, so thank you very much to the Gwindy pupils for sorting themselves out. That's fantastic. Croeso, welcome. Uh, it's nice to see you all there in uh, Sao Paulo. Um, it's been a busy day here in Wales. We've just had um, acting exams. Um, with the older children, so we are happy now to um, speak to you. So over to you, Christina. Hi, Christina. Uh, our director is here. All right, she would like to open the meeting. Okay, and tell uh, put some words. I think that is important for us and for you and your students too, because sometimes wait a moment, someone is like to leave the place. Okay. Uh, and then I would like to know if your students, how much students do you, do you have there? Uh, I think we have one, two, three, four, five, um, six. Um, I'm not, I'll have to check now the others. Um, Hilda, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so yeah, we've got about uh, eight pupils, I think, with us today. So, um, that's okay. And then, and then my director can talk a little bit to us. Is it possible? Can I? Can? That's okay. Okay. Please, Elizabeth, come here. And then, and then my director can talk a little bit. Bom dia a todos. É um prazer estar aqui com vocês, realizando essa reunião online, unindo dois países, o Brasil e o País de Gales. Quero agradecer a Lisa, o William. Quero agradecer a Lisa Williams e a professora Cristina por proporcionar essa parceria desde 2015. E hoje temos o prazer de unir três escolas da diretoria Leste Quatro. A escola Sapopeva, onde iniciou o projeto em 2015, recebendo as professoras. A escola Zalina Morini e nossa escola Marisa de Mello. Eu, Terezinha Delfino, declaro aberta essa reunião e será de extrema importância para os nossos estudantes. Thank you. Great. Where the project has been. 
happy to um, answer questions and to, to read out our answers to you if you like. I can share them on the screen so they, they will be able to read them out if you like. Ah, that's okay. All right. But here we are together, all right? And then I think that when they will talk, I think that is better in this moment they talk. Just your name and your age, that's okay? Yeah, okay. All right, because we have a lot of students here. Okay. Uh, and, and then we prepared the discussions because I think that's how it was our first meeting. Better to us, okay, to have a lot, all right, uh, and be clear. And these questions, these students, all right, help to prepare to, to your students. And your students, I know that he answered with the lofty, okay, and he hear the same way, lofty questions, all right? And then who, who would like to begin who, to ask the question? Here or there? Um, well, what we can do at first, maybe my students um, individually can um, tell you their names and their age. So maybe we can go around everybody and they can introduce themselves to you. And then um, would you like, if, if I read the question out, and then maybe my I'll choose a student of mine to, to, to answer the question, to read the question out. And maybe, do you have the questions with you there? If I can put them on the screen, maybe could, could you or, or one of your other students maybe read uh, their answer out as well? Do you want to hey, that? I think that one student or your or mine, can do the question because the question is the same, okay? Yeah, they are, yeah. And then after, uh, you are give the answer, and here we give the answer, that's okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, so, can you start, you and me. Yeah, okay then, so my name is Lisa Williams, and I teach drama um, at Aspogov in Cumramni. I have been teaching in this school for nearly 25 years and I've been a, I've been a teacher for over 30 years so a very long time yes okay yeah, yeah. I, I would like that to call to introduce yourself because Claude is here that was helping us on the meeting on Saturday like I told you all right here you needed to work hard to to, to do this project Claudia can you introduce yourself please okay can you hear me? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so nice to meet you all. My name is Claudia. I am Christina's close friend. I am a teacher as well. And I've been teaching English for over 20 years. Okay, so it's a great pleasure to know you guys from Wales and this kind of connection between Brazil and Wales is a, a great profit for the students. Okay, thank you so much, all right? Okay, guys, I am Christina, okay? And this project is since uh, it's early 2015, okay? It's a pleasure to be with, here with you. And then I'm not alone, because here we have a teacher, Luciana, that teacher. Okay, say hello, say hello. Hello, Look, come here, please. Say hello, stay here. Okay, okay, you, all right. And then we have a Japanese teacher with from Marisa Sponge, Valina Rolin, because I'm talking every time that they are from. Hi. 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 And then we have a teacher, Carol. Hello, I'm teacher Carol. Hi, teacher Jonas. Teacher Eddie. Hi, teacher Jonas. And then we have our Hi, teacher Edney. And then Marisa we have, we have our director. Come here, please. Okay, director from Zalina Rolin, Solange. 
bom dia. That's okay. Já sei, that's okay, everybody. É our KE, all right? Because he is our technology teacher. Teacher Ivan, come here, please. That's okay. And the student is when they will speak, all right, they will introduce yourself, okay? And then I would like that you know that it's a pleasure to have the this teacher and the focus with us today. Thank you very much for all, right? And for your help, because without you, it doesn't have this project. We don't have this project, is that okay? And then thank you so much. Okay, Elisa, can you start? Your name, your sound. Um, can I ask Anna Vincenzo to, to, to go first? Hi, my name is Anna, <coughs> and I'm from a school called Mike Govan Kabromne. How old are you, Anna? 12 years old. Hi, my name is Anna. Hi, Anna. Hello. Millie, next, Millie. 12 years old. Hi, my name is Millie. I'm 14 years old. Hi, my name is Roger and I'm 14 years old. Oh, hi, hi. Hello. Oscar. Oscar. Hi, my name is Roger and I'm 14 years old. Messy Chloe to Oscar. His microphone are now closed, Oscar. Ah, okay, that's fine. Go on in, Oscar. Oh, can't hear you. Just, just say hello. His microphone are now. Oscar's there. There's something wrong with his microphone, okay? <laughs> that's okay. Um, Caleb is next. Oh, can't hear you. Just say hello. Oh, Caleb's microphone isn't working either. Hello? Okay. My name is Caleb, I'm 14 years old. I'm from Kamimmi. Hello. And we have uh, Matilda. My name is Hi, my name is Matilda, and I'm 16. Hi, Matilda, hello. Matilda. Hi, my name is Matilda, I'm 17. <laughs> I think we had a bit of feedback there because we're in the same room. So you are, you are together, yeah. I know the same yeah. Room. yeah. So we had to turn the mics off because um, if, if, if more than one microphone is on at the same time, you get that terrible noise. So, okay. So do you want? Do, do your students want to introduce themselves? Uh, here, you know, here. That's yeah. okay. I will try to be so fast, alright? Because we have a lot. Okay. But okay. let's go, let's try, okay? So, so hello, my name is Victor. I am 17 years old and I'm from Valina School. Hello, my name is Mercy. I'm 18 years old. I am from Valina High School. Hello, my name is Isabella. I am 18 years old Hello, and I'm from Santa Cruz School. Hello, my name is Larissa. I'm 16 years old and I'm from Santa Cruz School. Okay. Uh, and then we have here uh, different students. I think that is difficult, all right, to go. Can, tell me if you listen, all right, their name is all right. Introduce yourself here. So fast. And then we have here uh, different students. I think that is difficult, all right, to go. Can, tell me if you listen, all right, their name is all right. Introduce yourself here. Hi, my name is Elisa, I'm eight. Hi, my name is Luane, I'm seven. Hi, my name is Miguel, I'm nine. Hi, my name is Elisa, I'm eight. Hello, my name is Manuele, I'm eight. 
Hi, my name is João Lucas. I'm eight. Hello, my name is Italo. I'm eight. Hello, my name is Can you listen? Can you listen to them? That's okay? All right. Hi, my, hi, my name is Giovanna. I'm Hello, nine. Hello, my name is Italo. Can you listen? Can you listen to them? That's hi, okay? my name is Maria Luisa. I'm nine. Hi, my name is Gabriel. I'm nine. Hi, my name is Rafael. I'm nine. Hi, my name is Ana Carolina. I'm nine. Hi, my name is Ana Carolina. I'm nine. Hi, my name is Brianna. I'm nine. Hi, my name is Yatin. I'm ten. Hi, my name is Eloise. I'm ten. Hi, my name is Alice. I'm ten. Hi, my name is Sios. I'm ten. Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm ten. Hi, my name is Alice. I'm ten. Hi, my name is Alice. I'm ten. Hi, my name is Sios. I'm ten. Hi, my name is Emmy. I'm eleven. Hi, my name is Fernando. I'm eleven. Hi, my name is Max. I'm ten. Hi, my name is Jorge. I'm ten. Hi, my name is Max Davi. I'm 10. Hi, my name is Fernando. I'm 11. Hi, my name is Paulo. I'm 11. Hi, my name is Naila. I'm 10. Hi, my name is Hi, my name is Davi. I'm 11. Hi, guys. My name is Gabriela. I'm 10. Hi, my name is Isomo. I'm 10. Hi, my name is Davi. I'm 11. Olá, bom dia. Good morning. So, Alexandra, tudo bem? Hi, are you okay? Sou a PCA aqui da Escola Marisa de Melo. Olá, bom dia. Good morning. Estamos tão, todos felizes so, uh, com esse intercâmbio entre vocês. We are a lot of happy with this exchange, right? In this meeting. O quanto é importante para nossas crianças daqui e daí. We know how much is important, so right? For our students and your students. E que seja uma das primeiras. And I would like the city todos felizes e as crianças extremamente ansiosas we are happy and a little bit anxious too muito obrigada thank you very much ok guys all right todos felizes e as crianças extremamente ansiosas guys ó ok Lisa let's go start because the time oh my gosh Right, shall I? I'll share the questions on the screen. Can you all see the screen? Ah, that's okay. You, you would like the TV screen? I, I can. I can share. Can you share the questions on the screen? Can you share? That's okay. Okay. These are our questions that we send to each other. Um, so we all answered these questions, didn't we? So these were the answers from um, Brazil uh, on the screen there. And then um, we also, these are our answers there to you, okay? Okay, Lisa, we prepared the surprise for you, all right? Because we, we've made the two padlets, all right? One padlet is about curios from Brazil. And then two teachers and the students made it. I will send you the link after. I think that you can put on the screen. That's okay. I will send you, I will send you the link, all right, of both. But I think that on the end, I would like that you show this. Now we can start the questions. While this, I will send you the links because we prepared just a surprise like you, all right? And your students too. Okay, then. So I think the first question was, what age does the student start in primary school and in high school? And what time do students enter and leave school? So if, if I can ask um, one of the Gwindi pupils, if I can ask maybe um, Caleb to read out our answer, please, from Wales. What age do students start in primary school and high school on what time do students enter and leave school? That's okay. Primary school pupils start school from the age of three upwards. It depends on the region in Wales. 
in Cardiff, they start later at the age of five. All secondary school pupils start at the age of 11. Pupils at Kumami start at 8.30 a.m. until 2.40 p.m. There is a 15-minute morning break and 40 minutes for lunch. There are five hourly lessons. Thank you, Caleb. Right, Christina, do you want one of your pupils to answer that question? Uh, okay, Louise, we answer this, okay? Thank you, Caleb. Yes. Okay, Louise, do you answer this? Okay. Yes. Okay, Louise, do you answer this? Okay. Okay, Louise, do in high school from 15 to 17. From three to at Marina de Mello School, students start classes at 7 a.m. until 4 p.m. because it's a full-time school. We can call, we call it pay, period de educação integral. There is a 30 minute morning break and one hour for lunch. There are eight hours of lessons a day. At Sapopemba School, we have classes in three periods, morning, afternoon, and night. We call it regular school. At Sapopemba School, we have classes in three periods, morning, afternoon, and night. At Zelina School, we have classes in two periods, morning and afternoon. Great, thank you. Thank you very much to all students. If we move on to question two, what is the school routine for students who live close to school and for students who live far away? What time do they wake up and how do they go to school? If I can ask, I'll move down to the Welsh answers. If I can now ask um, Millie to read number two answer, please. It's okay. Most pupils come to school by coach, but a few walk or get driven by their parents. Pupils wake up between 6.30 a.m. and 7, depending on, far how, on how far away they live. Thank you, Millie. Thank you. Over to, over to Brazil. Most students come to school by school bus, but a few walkers get driving by their parents. The students wake up in bed uh, for a.m. and 6 a.m., depending on how far they live from school. Thank you very much. Lisa, here we have a student that live near and far from school, right? And then, João, we'll talk a little bit, all right? What time they wake up? Okay. Thank you very much. Lisa, here we have a student that live near and far from school, right? And then, we'll talk a little bit, all right? What time they wake up? Okay. Fala de novo. I wake up. I wake up at 6 o'clock and I go to school but because I live close to it. Can, can you listen, Lisa? Can you listen? Is it possible? Is that okay? Yes, that's fine, yeah. You okay. Very then we have, we have a student that live far from here, far. Can, can you listen, okay. Lisa? Can you listen? Is it possible? Is that okay? Far from yes, that's fine, her. yeah. And I wake up for a.m. I come from school by school bus. I don't have that press at home. Good. Yeah, it's awful because it's too early. Do you believe on that? T? Do you are, you? are you stuck at it? We are very stuck. <laughs> so early. Why is it? Why is it that I would like to share this experience with you? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's dedication, very, very yeah. dedicated and committed. Yeah. Well done, fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 
So we move on to question three. What languages do you learn at school? Um, they want to know, you want to know if we learn Portuguese. So I'm now going to ask um, Oscar to read number three out, please. Oh, Oscar's, I don't think Oscar's um, microphone is working. So if I can ask Rodri to read this one out. All lessons are taught through the medium of Welsh, apart from English and other languages that are taught. I've spent uh, a French, Spanish, German and Mandarin. Unfortunately, we do not learn Portuguese, although we have learned a bit before. One of our classes cre created a Welsh Portuguese language booklet. We will send you some. Thank you. Brazil. One of our classes in the year, Lisa, we have different, all right, from your school. And then, Victor, we'll talk a little bit about the cell here, right? Please, Victor. Thank you. In the year, Lisa, we have different, all right, from your school. And we have a lot of language that's taught in different schools. So, we have uh, English, uh, Spanish, Mandarin, French, Japanese, Italian. And those kind of, those course available in, only in public high schools. Great, yeah, because here is completely different because on a public school, uh, we don't have a lot of the language like yours, but we have cell, right? It's separated. It's great. And why this Zalina yeah, Holin is here we present, all right, a public school that you have these courses, okay, with languages and it's so important to students, but only students from public school can participate, all right, of this program, all right? Here in Brazil is this way. In uh, uh, English is on first grade is our this year awards. All right. And then, yeah, it's different here. Yes, it's important to learn lots of different languages. So well done to everybody. Um, number question number four. Do students have vocational courses within the school curriculum? I'm going to ask uh, Matilda um, to answer question four. So do students have vocational courses within the school curriculum? So Matilda from Cumrumney to answer this, please. There are some vocational subjects such as en engineering, tourism, health and social care, cookery and design and technology. Okay, thank you. And in Brazil, question four is, do you have any vocational courses within the school curriculum? In our school, we don't have vocational courses, but if you are interested in vocational courses, there are plenty of free courses that attack a peers to students. It takes only one year and a half, and they have lots of area you can scoop like management, nursing, graphic design, marketing, and a lot more. Great. Great. And vocational courses are important then for um, getting employment in the future. So they are very important courses too, as well as academic courses. Yes. Question five. Do students learn how to play a musical instrument at school? I'm going to ask now a May to answer this. Okay, question five. Yes, that's good. Um, wait a minute. Okay. I'm going to ask now a May. Question five, a May. Hopefully, will learn the ukulele and keyboards in the general music lessons, but individuals can also learn the percussion, harp, string instruments, brass and wind. Also, you can have singing and piano lessons. The individual lessons have to be paid for by the parents. Okay, thank you, Anae. And in Brazil, the same question by is, do students learn a music instrument at school? Okay, here at Marisa, okay. 
We don't learn how to play any instrument. Unfortunately, but in another in other school. But in other, in other some public schools, we have the fanfare band. So we can talk to play wind instruments, percussion, drums, bass, and a lot of instruments that come from there. Uh, some school like Sapopemba, they have this band, but it works depending on some school, it's not, it's, it's inside the curriculum of the school. Uh, the members are some teachers and students, and they must have uh, previous knowledge about the instruments to join the band. Thank you. Can I ask a question? Does the fanfare, does it mean carnival music? Exactly. Okay, great, thank you. My question is this. What are the main meals like? If I can uh, ask Carla to answer number six, please. So, number six, what are the main meals um, in Wales? Thank you. Breakfast is before school and pupils eat a variety of things such as toast, egg, cereal, breakfast bar, bagel, and they can drink juice or tea. Lunch is usually at school and some pupils bring their own packed lunch or they buy food from the canteen, like pizzas and paninis. In the evening for supper, they eat a variety of foods such as pasta, dishes, curry, fries. Some people, pupils eat as a family, but others eat separately if everyone is busy. Pupils drink fizzy drinks, juice and water. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, Anna. Okay, and in Brazil then, what... Um, so what do you, what do you eat? What are the main meals? What are the main meals like? Breakfast, some to the students and main meals like. Coming to school, school it's bread. And bread and butter and drink, cook and milk, teeth, Asian to school, cheesy, porridge, and tapioca, and crepes, talks, cake, cereal, and they drink juice, chill, yogurt, or soda, and eat marshmallow. And at ten days soon, the student will turn on our Thank you, thank you, Lisa. And then we have the, uh, three different types of uh, three students, okay? Would you like to tell about your meal? Wait a moment, okay? Giovanna is cute. Do you have any ceremonies? So what um, okay, Italy, so how about it, while you're this Italy, you talk about your dinner. It's so fast. Oh, okay. At dinner, I send this uh, hot dog, bread, cheese, or pizza, and drink soda or water. 
Great. It's not a healthy. <laughs> it's not a healthy meal, but no matter. <laughs> no, I think well, I think well done Brazilian students eat unhealthily. Yes, yes. I think that they love to do <laughs> same food, pizza. Yes, it's the same there. Yeah, I know. Okay, uh, do you want to move on to question seven now? Same food, pizza. Is that okay? How is the school graduation? Do you have any ceremonies? So, Caleb for Wales. School graduation before lockdown, there used to be a face to face ceremony at school where sometimes parents came, but last year it was done virtually over Zoom. There is normally a ceremony after the GCSE exams at age 16 and another after the A-level results at 18. Thank you, Caleb. And for Brazil, those you school graduation, those you Heather and Sam At Marisa de Mal School, if the student fin students finish the primary school cycle, they have a third month with the family. The student receive a certificate and they usually participate in their short English. The at Santa Bengi School, at the end of, the, of elementary school and high school, they have a graduation ceremony on an outdoor place. And after they have a party. That's okay. And Zalina is the same, all right? That's a popain, but. Okay, lovely, thank you. Question eight. Do you have beaches and water parks in Wales? If I can ask Millie to answer this please. Question eight. Do you have beaches and water parks in Wales? Wales has many beautiful beaches as we have a lot of coastline in South, West and North Wales. There are no water parks though because the weather is cold most of the time, but we have a few indoor water parks. Some of our favourite beaches that we've been to include Tenby, Barry Island, Porthcawl, San Stefan, Aberavon, Ogmore and Aberystwyth. However, not many of our pupils have visited North Wales. Okay, thank you, Millie. So, like Millie said, we are surrounded by the sea um, on three sides of Wales. So, what about in Brazil? Sorry, Lisa. It's okay. We know Coco Cabana Beach. It's very famous. So, and now because here we are attending, all right? Students attend uh, to everyone participate here. And then That's now is the time to Isabella. I think that I've changed it. In Brazil, as it is a country with high temperatures, there are many beaches, mainly in the northeast region. In Sao Paulo state, there are also many beaches, both on the north and south coast. They are easy to access. Both students and teachers have had the opportunity to go to the beach in Santos, Ubatuba, Peruíbe, Casaguatatuba, among other beautiful beaches that Sao Paulo offers to us. In the south region, we also have many beaches, but they are far, which make access to the beaches in north and south of Brazil more frequent. Fantastic. So hopefully, um, I'm going to try and get um, a grant so that we can bring students to Brazil from Wales and students from Brazil to visit us in Wales. So, um, your fingers. Right, question nine. Do students carry out activities and research at home? Do they do homework? And how does it work? If I can ask um, 
Cobby in the Gwindy to answer question nine on homework and research. Research and homework. Year seven to nine pupils, 11 to 14 years old, say they say that they don't have much homework, but the older pupils have lots and they have to, to prepare for exams. The year 12s, 16 to 17 years old, say that they have no life because they have so much homework. Yeah, Rodri. Thank you, Rodri. And in Brazil, what about uh, the homework there? Do students carry out? At Madison Mary, students don't have much homework as they stay nine hours at school, but they need to do various research and some experiments in the subject of experiment practice. Indeed, Victor, we'll talk a little bit. But not in, not in certain the school curriculum. We have this project, for example, the Brazilian Wales, that we are meeting on Saturdays to organize the things and make everything all right. So we are two schools, and we are not able to bring all the students together. So that's why we are uh, organizing everything in the, in the video call. Uh, so that is, for this, it is impossible to talk about the issues personally because we are from different schools. Okay. We work, we work hard, we work hard, Lisa, on Saturdays. Oh, I know. We're going to school on Saturday. Oh, it's very. Yes, yes. Meeting is great, all right, because join people, join students, join. That's great. Well done. Great. Okay. okay, so number 10, how is the school calendar when the school year starts and ends and when are the school holidays? If I can ask Matilda in Cumrumni to answer number 10 on the school calendar. The academic year starts in September and ends in the middle or end of July, so it's very long. In July and August, we have six weeks holiday one week in October, two at Christmas, one in February, and two at Easter, and one week at the end of May slash beginning of June. Our government wants to make the summer holiday shorter and make the Christmas three weeks or maybe two weeks in February. But we don't agree because the weather is always miserable then, cold and raining. There is a consul consultation at the moment, so we will see what happens. Okay, so we I, we 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 have nice holidays, but the weather isn't very good in in Wales. So um, I don't think we have as as many holidays as Brazil. So over to you, Brazil. Question ten. There are two two hundred school days at every school. We start classes in February. We have a week of recess in a April and. 15 days of vacation in July, a week of recess in October, and finish activities on December 23, 30, 2030. Sorry. Thank you. Great. Thank you. I think, I think all pupils um, like holidays, maybe not being in school. <laughs> yes. In your school, do you have two, two, 200 days too? Uh, I think, no, I think we're in school for longer, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure of how many days, but I think it's longer. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay, question 11. Does it often snow in Wales? When it snows, how do students get to school? And are there any changes uh, in transport or are the roads closed? So number 11, uh, I'll ask a name to answer this, please. Does it snow in Wales? How do students get to school? And are the changes in transport when there's snow and are the roads closed? 
We used to get quite a lot of snow, maybe once a year, and then school would shut because many of our pupils live far away and high above sea level. One year there was a school trip to Spain on 1st of March, but it snowed overnight and we couldn't go. Before COVID, teachers couldn't teach virtually, so you could play in the snow, but if we have snow in the future, we will have to be taught remotely. No more snow days. Even if we only have a little snow, everything stops because our country is not really used to it, like some other countries. Okay, thank you, Ine. And in Brazil, um, can you tell us um, who you get snow? It does, it does snow in Luxembourg. Sometimes we raise new such as snow and frost in the south region of Brazil. But the winter needs to be very severe in order to happen. Okay, I think we'll all come and, and live in, in Sao Paulo because the weather is much nicer than in Wales. Okay, thank you. Question 12. Are there school championships or inter-school championships? If so, how does it work? Can I ask Caleb to answer this question about school championships, please? We have a school championship in rugby, hockey, cross country, running and netball in the winter and athletics in the summer. Every year the whole school takes part in a sports day. So we at the moment we are actually rugby, having a school hockey, sports championship this week in school and pupils are, are playing sports instead of having lessons. Um, so lots of people enjoy this because they don't have to have classes. Uh, what about in Brazil? Question 11. Twelve, sorry. Um, do you have sports and school championships? What about in Brazil? Question 11. Question 12, is that okay? Hi, Lisa. Question 12, is it? Yeah, question 12. <laughs> At Marisi School, there are handball competitions in elementary. Yeah, question 12. At Marisi School, there are. At Sapopemba, we have school championships of sports like volleyball, handball, indoor soccer, chess, and table tennis. Uh, here at Marisa de Mello, we are primary school in the two years, okay, that we became elementary too. Okay. Why that we don't have here a lot of uh, yeah. yeah. So we only have five minutes left of the meeting. So would you like us to look at the Padlet now or would you like me to show the Padlet to my students? Um, um, later on, they can look at the link themselves. Um, or what do you want to do? Do you, do you want um, do you want me to show the Padlet on the screen now? Ah, uh, that's okay. You can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm sending you all right from your email. Uh, and then, for example, this this question, all right? We have a a word from your account with 58 letters of course that you would like to listen to the pronunciation and then we have here right not so big like you your country but 47 letters and then they didn't like to say this word too and these words are on the page okay. um right so i the thing is i have to go into my email to get the link you see you could you put the link in the chat is that possible? Ah, okay. I think that I think that I can share it if you want. I can share here. I think that would be easier because otherwise I'll have to go into my because you sent it to me by WhatsApp. It means I've got ah, to send okay. it into my ah, email. Right. I will put it here. But yeah. uh, if you if you want it, I can I can share here okay. on the screen. Okay, if you can do that then. Yeah, I stop and then I put. I'll, I'll stop sharing and then you can share the Padlet. Thank yes, you. Yes, that's great. Right. Wait a moment, please. I'll also send the Padlet to the um, our Google Classroom, okay, eSports.hungrado. So you can have a look at it yourself as well. 
Everything Brazil and Wales. Can you see? Can you see Lisa? Yes. That's okay. And then it is a tablet, okay. And then, for example, here oh, we have it. The word, the biggest in word in your, your county, and the word that oh, okay. yes. and then it's great, great. yeah. <laughs> and oh. a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. They said it's prepared to you. Can you see? Oh, yes. Oh. Do you believe in my students are anxious that your student pronunciation is uh, yeah. Yeah. Big word. Do you believe in my students are anxious that your students pronunciate this biggest word? I would like to listen your your way you where your people pronunciate the word first, Elisa. In okay. after that, Gabriela will pronounce our word. Okay. Okay. Right then. Um, who? would like to say this uh, place name. Only one person, because if we all say it at the same time. Uh, Prodri, do you want to go? Right then, um, who would like to say this uh, place name? Only one person, Ooh. we all say it at the same time. Well done. Uh, one more time, one more time, Lisa. Okay. That's a good try. That's a really good try. Do you remember the man in this describing individual who has lung disease caused by breathing in volcanic ash? When they, they bring a right, this is a disease. Yes. This is the meaning of this word. And, and, and yours, who will talk to us? Who will, because we are anxious to listen to you. Okay, Prodri, can you say Sandvai for Swingish? Off the team. Sandvai for Swingish, the Gareth and Robert, and Cecilia Gogo Go. Say it again. Sandvai for Swingish, the Gareth and Robert, and Cecilia Gogo Go. Great. You like it? Ah, great, great. We love the variety. It's a, a biggest word, great. We love it. Just listen to it. Oh, well done. Okay, we've only got one minute left now, Christina. And the, this, this question, the alphabet, our alphabet is the same from uh, USA, all right? It's a little bit different from you. But I would like, we prepared a song, so short, right? But I would like that to listen to the yes. Because when you are teaching, all right, the alphabet in English, and then this this song is so present. Can you listen? Yes, you can listen. Okay, okay. We'll okay. Finish I will song. put the. I will stop to share. Um, but wait a moment, please. Uh, Ivan will put the link here while the student will sing to you, okay? And then I will stop the presentation because I will put the link here for you, okay? Thank you. So yeah. I know um, the schools love singing in, in Brazil. We, we love singing in Wales as well. So we're really looking forward to this song. Off you go. Why you even share the link with you? The students just will song for you, all right? Okay, thank you. Okay. One, two, three. A, B, C, E, F, G.
Can you see the way that the students learn the alphabet here? Yeah. Well done, Mastuzo. Thank you for creating this song with us. <laughs> this way. And the, but we prefer the announcer writing. Eloise will talk to you. Letters. As the letter K, W, and Y are considered exporting. After the spelling agreement in January 2009, this letter are part of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Wow. Uh, in, in the here, Lisa, it's different from you because in your country, you double letters, yeah? It sounds very difficult. Yeah, yeah. Your language is very difficult. But for example, here we have in words in Portuguese that is complicated. For example, exceção is an exception. Oh God, it is completely um, awful for when you write because sometimes even with that the teachers, if you don't pay attention, make mistakes. It's Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese. It it looks very very difficult. Ah, but Welsh is difficult too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we'll, have to, uh, we'll have to say goodbye now, Christina, because um, some of the pupils have to go to a lesson. So it's been fantastic. Uh, uh, I think that uh, we have a lot of questions. Maybe we can see another day. Yes. Yeah. Only two continuous, all right? Yeah. And because I think that the next time it will be fast because, for example, the students will be the same. And then okay, we will not need to stop it to presentation that we have a lot of time. Yeah. And then just to finish the questions, okay? Well, yeah, we'll decide on a date um, together, yourself and myself, and then we'll let our students know and then we'll come again and we'll finish off the questions, okay? Okay, Lisa. All right, then. Yeah, we'll thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Ah, Pessoal, ó, o pessoal ainda está ao vivo aqui para nós, tá? Ó, então, agora eu vou só contextualizar um pouco. Desculpa de não poder traduzir. Tá. É, desculpa não poder é, ir traduzindo simultaneamente, tá? Então, esse foi o intercâmbio que nós fizemos aqui com o País de Gales. Espera só um pouquinho, dá só para mudar aqui. É, só para eu deixar essa tela. Tá, então, foi um intercâmbio que nós fizemos com o País de Gales. Infelizmente, eles são muito britânicos na, na hora. Então, eles começaram às oito e terminaram às nove. 27 questões. E as questões elas foram elaboradas junto com os alunos. O objetivo era treinar o inglês. A Lisa tentou ao máximo também dar uma agilizada lá, mas nós também queremos, a gente, o nosso objetivo era incluir todos os alunos, desde o pequeno até o ensino médio aqui, que está representando a gente. E aí, como nós falamos, a gente via que não tinha muito tempo para hábil para fazer as 27, aí a gente falou, vamos deixar acordado um outro dia para nós terminarmos, e aí a gente pula algumas apresentações, porque aí já foi feito, e a gente vai direto para para as questões, depois eu vou falar isso com a Lisa, tá? Mas a primeira questão, ela estava perguntando de como que funciona, né? Com que idade que os alunos entram aqui na escola primária, e aí eles têm as especificidades lá. A gente aqui começa de 3 a 5, aí dos 6 aninhos já começa a entrar aqui no primeiro aninho, do 11 já começa o... o... Eu estou aqui pensando em inglês, né, Elementor? O Fundamental 2... E do 15 ao 17, o que não muda muito para eles lá na, na idade que eles começam também. 
O que difere deles para a gente é que eles têm... Eles começam mais ou menos de três anos, depende da região, porque algumas regiões lá em Cardiff é com cinco anos, tá? Nós, e lá eles ficam dois anos a mais e eles fazem o um curso profissionalizante que equivale ao curso de ETEC que a gente faz aqui. Na verdade, tudo que a gente tem aqui, que isso já vai resumir bastante questões, nós na escola é, primária, a gente vai do primeiro aninho, na educação básica, primeiro ano até o ensino médio. E lá, eles terminam o ensino médio e ficam mais dois anos, que equivale a um, uma FATEC, um curso profissionalizante, e se formam em algumas disciplinas, tá? Aí, aqui está falando da rotina, como que começa. Então, a gente tem alunos aqui que acordam às quatro horas da manhã e ela ficou bem surpresa ao ver isso, tá? As aulas lá são faladas todas em galês, aqui ministradas em português, exceto os idiomas que eles ensinam, que aí ela é no idioma, tá bom? Aqui no céu, a gente estava falando do... Já? E aí, no, deixa eu ver onde nós estamos, ah, o céu equivale aos idiomas que eles têm lá, que é comum para eles, tá? E depois eles formam lá, eles têm cursos vocacionais lá dentro, coisa que nós não temos aqui também na, na escola pública. Eles têm aula de instrumentos musicais, a fanfarra deles funciona, só que para algumas aulas de canto e alguns instrumentos, os pais têm que pagar, tá bom? As refeições deles... É, algumas não são tão... Ali eles não vão muito na linha do health, que é a linha do saudável. E nem nós aqui também, é isso que eu estava falando para ela. Quando se forma com relação a, a, ao final aqui, a gente aqui final, finaliza com o coral e com, a, com o ProERD. A gente estava falando isso para eles. No ensino médio se reúnem com a família, tem um cerimonial... Praias, a gente não tem nem palavras para descrever as praias e os parques aquáticos que a gente tem é, aqui, isso foi falado também. E aí, é, praias, o calendário escolar, neve, aqui a gente não tem neve só no sul, a, aqui a gente está começando agora, então a gente só tem o handball, o Sapopemba e o Zalina tem um pouquinho mais, eles falaram, que equivale não tanto ao aos campeonatos que eles têm lá, mas a gente tem também um bom número aqui. E paramos na questão do, do alfabeto, que ela fala que é difícil nosso alfabeto. E eu brinquei com ela e falei que o dela também é. Eis. Thank you very much for all. Bye, bye.